If you have an RX 7000 series GPU, then ASRock have recently released their AI Quick Set software, which bypasses all the headaches involved in installing all these different programs and applications, which when I did it on my main computer and I have done some benchmarking for AI in the past, it was an absolute headache to get all these programs installed and set them up. And even then I came into errors whilst doing it. And today this piece of software essentially eliminates all those headaches and you can just install this one application and then you're ready to start using the AI Studio from Shark or it's the Shark ML AI Studio. And within this, there is a lot of powerful applications that you can use. And in the past, some of these things you would have had to have paid tens of thousands of dollars for, you can use it for free with an ASRock RX 7000 series GPU. Now also the prerequisites at this point in time is a 13th or 14th gen CPU, but ASRock do tell me that they're adding in more compatibility as time goes on, as well as adding in more of these AI programs to quickly and easily install. So in today's video, I'll go through the AI quick set and the powerful use applications, and as well as having, of course, a little bit of fun with things like melting graphics cards and also Kia Stingers. So straight from the get-go, the AI Quick Set software installs three different programs, and one of those is going to pretty much do it all, and that's DirectML Shark, aka Shark AI Studio. And what we've got right here in the background is this application open, and it's just got so many powerful instances. The one that I'm going to actually focus on first is probably the most powerful one. And as I hinted in the intro, some of this stuff used to cost places tens of thousands of dollars for doing software, and that is the upscaler where you can essentially insert a lower resolution image and it'll do a really good job of upscaling and filling in the missing details. And so if you've seen crime shows in the past where they've got these blurry images and they upscale them, you can essentially do that with this program and it costs you nothing. And so it's starting to utilize the huge amounts of power available in GPUs nowadays. And so for instance, I did have a melting graphics card in the city of New York. I just posted in some random text to see what it would give out. And then I had that smaller image and then I upscaled it and it did a very good job of that. So the upscaling feature on this software is extremely powerful. Though what else of course is powerful is the text to image. This is probably the most popular one where you have different models that you can choose from. The most popular within this is probably stable diffusion. You may have heard of this before. Essentially you can write in text and then it'll spit out an AI generated image. And pretty much with this software, it's gonna be hit or miss where you can get some really cool images, but then other times you'll get images that just leave you scratching your head going, what am I looking at here? But two of my favorite images was not only the graphics card that's on fire and melting on the streets, but also rusted graphics card and CPUs on the beach. I actually thought I did a really cool job of this. However, then I went to put a gaming PC on a Stinger, a Kia Stinger, and it pretty much just left out the gaming PC completely. And also at this point in time, if you've got a single end GPU, it can be limited to smaller images. For instance, I find it works best with a default 512 pixels by 512 pixels. So it's gonna spit out very small images. And if you try to go any bigger, it's going to have a longer wait period and it may run out of VRAM. So for all the people who need a lot of VRAM, you'll definitely get more out of AI image generation if you've got large VRAM on your GPU. So that one drawback is to get the image right, you may have to play around with the text that you put in, as well as actually generate a same few images of the same text to get the image you like. And there is another drawback to this, and that is of course that single GPU does have its limitations here, where if you have on the internet seen these much larger images that people generate very quickly, and they do look very sophisticated, that's because they're using a cloud-based image generation service, something like Midjourney, which one of my friends actually has access to, and we were actually talking while uh, making some images, and he was generating some images in a snowy forest, and so was I, and his were coming out with bigger images as well as much more detail. And that's because services like Midjourney, they do have a subscription fee every month. I think the lowest that you can get a subscription fee for is about $10 a month. And so what that does is it plugs into a cloud server that would have access to $100,000 AI GPUs, for example, 
that can do a much faster and better job. Though just because they can get things done very quickly and they pay that subscription fee, we can actually get to a very similar level with our single GPU with this powerful piece of software. So after we've generated our image, we can do one of two things or even both if you want to. And the first is the outpainting feature, which what this does is it will stretch the image and so this is great if you want to say make YouTube thumbnails as well or just make wider images where you need to fill in that space. But also after that, we can then upscale the image and get much higher quality. So if you don't mind waiting a few more minutes and not paying a subscription fee, then you can get a very beautiful image out of a single RX 7800 XT even. Though going through some of the other powerful features in this program is the in-painting, which if you've got a damaged image, and say for instance, you've got an old photo that's got bits scraped out of it, you can then scan that and then put it into the software and it can fill in the blanks with the in-painting feature. Then after that, you've got image to image. At this point in time, at least from what I'm testing here, we'll just use the same color scheme and then generate a new image based on what your prompt is. It'll still spit out hit or miss style images but it will use that same color scheme. So if you've generated something that you really like, and then you want to get that same color scheme, but then try and generate something else, this is the way to do it with image to image. And then the last feature is the chat box, which if you guys have used chat GPT before, this will give you a similar experience. And so after looking at this program, that's pretty much all there is to it. It is very simple to get up and running and utilize the powerful AI features of your GPU without any of the hassles as we spoke about before, having to go to GitHub and install all these extra pieces that can leave you scratching your head or just leave you frustrated with errors. This is very quick and easy to install and the best thing is it's free if you've got an ASRock GPU. Now, today's video, people are gonna say is it sponsored, it's kind of somewhere in between. It's not sponsored, but ASRock did ask me to take a look at their new AI quick set software. And so when I took a look at this program, I was actually thoroughly impressed of what ASRock have managed to do here. And so if you've got that RX 7000 series GPU, you wanna have a bit of a dab and a bit of a dibble in the weird land of AI generation, then this is certainly going to allow you to do that. Anyway, guys, do let us know in the comments section below what you think of the Quickset software. And also, have you been delving into using AI generation from your GPU? If so, what use cases have you done? Love reading your comments as always. Just like this question of the day here, which comes from Clay Birdie Shaw 5737. And they ask, how is there so much hardware around you? and they're talking about used hardware. I probably couldn't get that much gear where I live if I bought literally every listing. So where I live is actually right in two cities, essentially. There's Brisbane, which is only like a 40 minute drive for me up the highway. And I also live in the Gold Coast. And so they're both big cities and there's just constant used PC parts coming up for sale. And a good thing about Australia, and I've talked about this in the past, is that per capita, we actually have as Aussies, the highest expenditure on PC parts in the world. So even though the population of the whole country isn't that big, it's actually a big focus for a lot of these uh, enthusiast tech hardware manufacturers. And so that just means naturally per person, there's going to be more used hardware coming up for sale than anywhere else in the world per person. And so that just means more juicy deals for Tech Yes City when I go use PC parts hunting. Even before I recorded this video, I just took a look at some deals that would quickly pop up and I just missed out on getting some i7 HP deals, which they look like they were really juicy. Someone already snapped that up. But there's also like an X58 i7 whole combo for 50 Aussie dollars, which is extremely cheap. And there was also some monitors up for sale for around 25 each. Now I even set or nearest offer. So I might just put in an offer of that. So that's like three parts with me just quickly looking. And with that aside, I'll catch you guys in another tech video very soon. Peace out for now. Bye.